Hi, it's Ruben. And right now I am in Tuganga, Colombia. And this is the place where I've decided to get my diving license. Uh, unfortunately, here in Tuganga, it's, uh, well, the infrastructure and the grid system here is a little underdeveloped. And every now and then there's power outages. So what the electric companies decide to do is turn off the, po the power for half a day and instead of watching the normal instructional videos like everybody normally does, I have to do it the old school way. This does have to mean that I don't have to be inside and I get to choose wherever I want to be. So I am going to find a super relaxing spot to, well, get started. Places were full in the sun and too many distractions, so I decided to go to a little quiet place. And this is where I'm gonna get started. That little study plan showed up. Hi! It's been such a long time since I've actually had to study and take tests, so actually I'm quite excited. Yeah? Um, so, see you when it's done. So I had to take a test to see well, how, how well versed I was in the theory. Uh, uh, but me being me, I didn't really get the memo that I only had to do the preliminary test just to see where like, my understanding of the theory was at. So those were just the first 40 questions, but I ended up accidentally uh, making all of the 90 questions. Uh, so. Uh, the moment I was finished with my test, I like walked up to the instructor and said like, okay, you know, I'm finished. And he was like, you did everything? Like, I was like, oh, that was not the idea. So uh, normally the idea is that you do the first half, then they see like, okay, where do you need, where can you use a little bit of training? Uh, but I aced the test, got 92% on my answers. Uh, so as long as I show that I know all the principles, I am good to go. And I've got my first star as a diver. The diving course I'm trying to complete is the Petty Open Water, which is the first one you ever do. What's this guy's doing it with... Oh, 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 fell. <laughs> that was the words. Yeah, uh, but yeah, so it's called Open Water, but uh, like the first uh, 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 place that we're going to practice is not going to be in open water, but in a swimming pool, just to make sure that we know the basics before we might actually drown in real life. So yeah, we're headed back to the hostel where there's a swimming pool. Uh, how many Israelis do you think we have to kick out of the swimming pool before we get started? Uh, about 20. like 20, 25. 20, easy. 25. Luckily they speak the language, so it might be a bit easier. <laughs> we are lucky because nobody's in the pool. Well, not for long. take when diving of course you've got your flippers you've got your goggles and you need a weight as well you put it away from you oh yeah two worst enemies right because if, if it's wrong then this one explodes and yeah. open all the way and then half a turn back right. how much Eric? Uh, just below three times yeah. One, two thousand nine hundred. Perfect. Inflate, inflate the PCD. Nice. Pretty tasty air. Part is one thousand two hundred dollars. Yeah. So is it more exp more expensive or cheaper than getting a girlfriend here? <laughs> you can see quite a few Israelis went into the pool. What do you, what do you think is the best way to get rid of them? Maybe we will turn off the music. Turn off the music, then they'll leave. <laughs> Thank you. 
just uh, had our first diving lessons. Yay. Spent one hour in uh, in this pool, and I think uh, besides, of course, diving, I think the main thing we learned is that you always, always need to shower after using a pool like this. We we saw things that I don't think we're ever gonna forget. <laughs> In order to get the diving license that I did, uh, you need to complete five dives in total. First one being the one in the pool that you just saw, but because it was also a course and I was learning, I decided not to take my GoPro on all of the dives. So what you're going to see now is just a compilation of, well, the one dive that I recorded. I would really recommend getting your license back here in Taganga because it is actually one of the cheapest places in the world to do it. I think the only two places that are cheaper are Honduras and Thailand. So, you know, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty high up on the cheap list. until 18 meters uh, but uh, very important you still always need a buddy never go diving alone uh, but yeah no got my first one very happy very excited very tired so I'm headed back to the hostel and going for food and going for a nap something pretty interesting happened this morning I got a message on tinder saying that I look like the perfect guy to shoot a commercial for Santa Marta the place right over over here uh, so I have to show up tomorrow to see if I well I've not been catfishing people if I actually look this way and if everything works out I am getting a free helicopter ride to promote something in Santa Marta which would be amazing I just had my first intake conversation uh, for a potential helicopter ride Right, which would be free which is basically what every single backpacker dreams of uh, yeah no so what they told me is that they're interviewing multiple candidates uh, but they have to uh, because it's very very likely that they're choosing me but just not to show favorites they have to interview multiple people which I think is yeah lovely but 
Yeah, no, I'm super excited. It's like an eight minute helicopter ride. I've never been in one before, so I'm super excited. I hope it's gonna happen. Just got a message that I have been selected to go and fly with a helicopter. But then, five minutes later, I got a message saying that the entire activity was canceled, unfortunately. However, the person I was in contact with, she, well, she kind of said like, oh, you know, this guy was really expecting a helicopter ride, so uh, she pushed a little bit further and apparently it was like a permissions issue and they fixed it and now it is gonna happen. So yeah, I just filled the form, uh, had to fill in like emergency contacts and everything. So yeah, tomorrow I'm going on a helicopter ride. I am, uh, they're going to tell me what I need to wear, what I need to bring. Uh, and I hope that it's all within my backpack and if it's not then we'll have to figure out another way to get it Yeah, I'm going flying I am currently on the way to the place where my helicopter tour is gonna start uh, They told me that because they have to send this video well to businesses and to formal clients as well uh, I need to look slightly formal so I described to them like okay, you know, I've got some button-up shirts I've got some long and so you know no problem I can look formal uh, but then they sold yeah okay but not too formal it needs to be a sort of formal casual so well I'm finally wearing my button-up shirt again uh, and I'm very glad that I get another opportunity to, to wear it because well I, I've been carrying it around for six months and I think I've only used it once or twice uh, it was pretty funny actually because I I went to, went out to dinner with someone at some point and decided to well suddenly all of a sudden all out of the blue uh, dress up pretty formally uh, she was completely taken away by this and so I was sitting there all formally dressed and she was sitting in a summer dress and Crocs and nothing else which is that was fun uh, but yeah now right now I've got another chance to well show off my shirt. Uh, something else that I wore, I got my most formal socks. Uh, more formal than this, couldn't really get it. Uh, wearing some shorts to make it a bit more casual. Uh, and I bought some backup clothes in case they were like, no, we need it to be more or less formal. So I brought regular t-shirt, uh, long pants as well. Uh, let's see if they're gonna, well, agree with my look. And if they don't, then I don't know, they're gonna have to supply with me with something on this spot. I'm so excited. We are. We're gonna fly from this pier. We're somewhere at the end of it. Yeah. Cool. Over there seems to be the platform where the helicopters take off. And that is gonna be us in, I don't know how many minutes. Soon. Soon it's gonna be us. So what are we here to do? Yeah. Uh, with the company Visit Santa Marta, you have to come here to Santa Marta and go to Visit Santa Marta. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, now we have a new experience in a helicopter and we're gonna fly, we're gonna have an experience. I'm saying experience. Yeah. Uh, why was I chosen to do this? Because, <laughs> <laughs> because I found you yeah. on the page. Yeah. And we match because I need someone that need to fly with us and yeah, you're the perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect candidate. Yeah, perfect candidate. Okay, cool. How many how many other candidates have you denied? Uh, 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 a few. A few. A okay. Few. Well, I know. It's good. To, at least you know it's the, it's good for my ego. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now and and last question: Are you excited to go flying? It was your first time no, as well, right? Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, really for me too. So, you know, if we... So, yeah, let's go! <laughs> there it is! Fully equipped little drone. I need to get me some of these materials. To walk over there like we're having an amazing time laughing smiling <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
lot of like adrenaline stunts, stomach turns every now and then just to make it feel nice. Uh, it's a shame that you probably couldn't hear anything, but it was uh, it was the best. And for free. Of course, that's uh, obligatory modeling shot. <laughs> Bye-bye, helicopter! Bye-bye! <laughs> so, thanks again for watching another video. Please like, subscribe, do all the things, hit the bell notification button, all that sort of stuff. And leave a comment if you liked it. Uh, this was so much fun. Like, uh, it's one of my most random Tinder experiences, and yeah, I, I, I would sign up for more of those. Uh, so, you know, if you feel like taking me on an experience and meeting me on Tinder for the first time, I think I'm up for that. Just uh, <laughs> let me know. Well, end of the vlog means it's time for another What's in the Bag, and feature today is my favorite candy from the Netherlands. Drop salty licorice. Salty licorice is, uh, well, I would say an acquired taste because I've met very, very few people from the Netherlands who actually like it, like, uh, at all. And then this one is kind of an intense flavor as well. Like, it's super, super salty. Uh, most of the people that I've given it to have spit it out with, uh, within, like, the first 10 seconds of having it in their mouth. But to me, it is just, I love it so much. Like, it's, mm, it's, mm, it's the saltiest candy you can imagine mm, this is uh, basically the only way in which I do like cultural exchange uh, I let people from other cultures other countries share this and if they like it which they rarely do I usually give them some to go <laughs> have you tasted this one before um, if you like drop if you like salty licorice then uh, this is the saltiest I've been able to find uh, do you think there's one that's more salty than this one please let me know because I would love it